Yeah, any day after today looks questionable, but I tell you what, one thing that will work in his favor, the ground should be nice and soft because there is plenty of water, plenty of moisture in the soil, so it won't be too hard to break that up and get those plants down into the ground, into the soil there. Here's a live look from the east side of town here, Indian Hill, Good Shepherd Montessori, and you can see what a beautiful late April afternoon we have right now. However, signs of change, all you got to do is look to the sky. You see these clouds already starting to roll in. That's evidence of our next weather maker tonight. It's pretty quiet across the Ohio Valley right now. However, head out towards our west. Notice you see those clouds and even a few showers beginning to push across parts of Illinois and Indiana. You don't have to worry about any rain this evening. You're in good shape if you got something you want to do here the next several hours. In fact, very comfortable. Temperatures are in the 60s and we'll slowly see them slipping down into the 50s once the sun goes down after about 8, 830. So here's a live look downtown right now. Beautiful sky shot here. 64 degrees at the airport. We've got southwesterly breezes in here, so the combination of increasing clouds, a southwest wind means this evening and tonight considerably milder. We dipped into the 30s when skies cleared last night. Around the area, pretty uniform. Most of us somewhere, give or take a degree or two on either side of 65, and that's about where we should be for this time of the year. Let me walk you through Futurecast here. What you're going to see, the threat for showers late tonight, early on Tuesday. But honestly, we're really going to have to wait until Wednesday to get more substantial rain in which I think everyone gets wet. I don't think everyone gets wet over the next 24 hours. So after midnight, we'll start to see the risk for those showers increase. I do believe this is a little overdone as this weather system is initially moving into some dry air. But the best shot at seeing a shower would be overnight tonight, early on Tuesday. You see these around tomorrow morning. I actually think the bulk of your Tuesday is dry and relatively comfortable out. Pretty warm too. Highs are headed for the low to mid 70s tomorrow around the area. However, as we get into Wednesday, notice it's still quiet Tuesday night. On Wednesday, a better chance for showers and storms will move in here as the actual cold front arrives. So yes, you do run the risk of seeing a few showers overnight tonight through the first few hours of your Tuesday, but most of us won't get wet really until Wednesday when this front actually moves through the area. So for tonight, it's very quiet the next several hours, and it's really quiet much of the night, honestly. We'll see those clouds filter back in, and you know what? After midnight, 1, 2 a.m., could see a few showers out there. There may be a few kind of, you know, distant showers around first thing tomorrow, but then drier, warm, and breezy. We're headed for the low 70s, and again, much of tomorrow is actually a dry and what I would call comfortable afternoon for a late April. Let me give you your seven-day forecast, and this is how things are shaking out. 72 on Tuesday. 60s on Wednesday, obviously with more clouds and better chances for rain. Cooler weather in here on Thursday and then a break on Friday and Saturday. And overall, Mike and Sheree, we are still looking at a busy weather pattern with another chance for showers and storms heading into next week. So every few days, the chance for rain, Mike. All right.